funeral and like you would push the F button to pay your respects. <laughs> yeah, it's a meme. It's a meme. That's, okay, bow. Bow time. Let's let's show everybody what this bow is all about. We got time for one more run. Real quick, real quick. Real quick and tidy. And then Becky wants to sing uh, Hey Jude, apparently. <laughs> That's That's something. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what Becky thought as well, but no, it's not, it's not actually a, a short for X to doubt. Whatever you say. Interesting. What is that? I haven't heard of that before. A boon. I have a boon for you, sir. Let me tell you. We got lots of crits going on now. Oh, I guess you, because we have a command for uh, believing, so it's good to have a command for doubting. Oh, so annoying. This is where adding the cast stone would have made good sense. All right. Uh, Poseidon. So one thing to note about the bow is that there is aim assist. Um, it's not, it's, it's a pretty good aim assist and it's kind of a necessary thing if you're playing with a controller, some people play with the mouse and keyboard and they they think that it's cheating to use the, the aim assist. And sometimes it does feel a bit like cheating. Like you can do a lot more like crazy dashes and, and stuff, but I don't know. I've, I've talked to a lot of people and they, most people don't feel like the aim assist is, uh, is, a, is a thing to, to be concerned with, I guess. <laughs> So we'll 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 just say that about it. I feel like without aim assist, it's it'd be pretty unplayable on a controller, most likely. And so since yeah, it's on by default. That's a good perspective co-op stomp. I can I can get behind that. Let's go for re-rolls. Yeah, aiming flop attacks does does stink. It makes it makes those um, attacks feel a little bit uh, not underpowered exactly, just awkward. All right. The thing that makes the thing that makes the bow so much fun, we haven't even seen yet because it's it's the uh, the hammer upgrades that that show up for the bow. The hammer upgrades are so stinking good, and so many of them are like just fun. Honestly, that's that's when the bow starts to pop for me. It's when you get a cool series of. Uh, yeah, let's go to the let's go to the shop. We'll get a we'll get a champ room next. Should we pay for it? Oh, should we do it? This is probably a terrible idea. I'll take it. <laughs> Flurry shot? Or do we want to go for big big power shots? Oh man. Alright, co-op stomp, have a good rest of your day. All right, see you around. We're gonna steal some money from our man. Whoops. Sorry. Borrow some, borrow some cash. I might. This might be. <laughs> this might end it all, though. Let's be honest. 
Krog. You just might be my favorite sparring partner, mate. Oh gosh, look at the size of that ore. It's a monstrous ore. Can't say. Oh, we got it. Whoo! <laughs> I love this room. Like I love all the little like the stacks of of uh, scrolls and and the nectars back there. Like it's a cool, it's a cool little cool little area. Chaos Gate would be awesome for us here. Yeah. Oh, that enemy. That enemy, though. Mirage shot? Fine. It's a green it's a green boon. See green boon, take green boon. Trinkets and baubles paid for in blood. Mmm, <laughs> attack deals plus sixty-four. Tasty. That's a tasty one. The plus forty-one percent damage, not as tasty. Not super great. We're going to take the uh, the palm here. I love fighting these guys with a ranged weapon because it's like, haha. <laughs> You know, like, they make your life so difficult when you use the melee weapon, and then you just kind of, you grab the bow, and you're like, sorry, sucker. Oh, gosh, it takes a while. It takes a long time. Why didn't I use... I should have used my... Uh, we use that, actually. Let's just buy it all. We're so rich. Why are we so rich? Oh, right. We stole money from Caroline. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Steve-O James definitely played that. Love, uh, love Darkest Dungeon. Uh, urge to kill, I guess. Okay. Love, love that. Paid for in blood and jade. Yeah. Look at that damage, though. Look at the damage.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Running out of time. Running out of time. Oh, recently? I haven't I haven't uh heard anything since they made the announcement. Um I saw some like I saw some like art that they had put out about uh, for Darkest Dungeon 2, but not not a lot. Not a lot of stuff. Did not learn much. Let's take the frostbitten horn. Yeah, let's do it. Talking about Hades 2? Oh man, wouldn't that be something? No, not Hades 2, unfortunately. As much as much awesome as that would be, it would be a lot of awesome. Glittering gold. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. What do we got? Grace Reflex is fantastic. Grab health. Moving right along. S SG does great work and then does something else. It's it's true, but I I think that there is there's reason to to at least hope. Like I don't think you can just take past precedent and say like, oh well then they never would. They never would like expand on a game that they'd done before because they'd never made they've never made a road like before, right? Before before this, they were all kind of narrative driven games that had a definite end, whereas this one does not. So like, a, they they changed a lot of a lot of they set a lot of precedents with this game, so you could argue that they could uh, they could do whatever they wanted. <laughs> when it comes right down to it. I just don't think that we can necessarily say anything. <laughs> Can't say nothing. Can't say nothing to nobody. Floodshot. Floodshot's nice for clearing out rooms. I, I, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I think they're still making money. They're still... Well, I mean, they're going to make a ton more money when it comes out on Xbox and PlayStation, right? For shizzle. I don't know why I said for shizzle. Seems a little weird. Saying things like for shizzle is not a, a normal, not a normal thing for me. <laughs> Ooh, a thirty percent damage bonus when I have no uh, no crystals is pretty awesome. More Hermes, yes. Yeah, there's a bit. There's a bit of merch. Um, actually, if you like Hades merch, I've got a bit of uh, Hades inspired merch in the merch store. If you <laughs> if you want to check it out, I wish I could say something like it's all on sale. It sh I should do like a sale, but I haven't. I haven't yet, mostly because. I haven't figured out how. But there's some like uh some joke joke themed uh stuff that we've done. <laughs> Ogi our man Ogi Pogi with his art. So cool. In the name of Hades. Oh, you didn't buy the mouse pad? No worries, no worries. <laughs> do cosplayers like to make their own stuff carpals I think that a lot of cosplayers make their own stuff but I honestly don't know 
Um, let's just go greater haste, I think. We are broke, so not that. It'd be cool if they did, yeah, like a like a Hades, uh, like a Zagreus outfit or something. <laughs> like that'd be cool. Let's do that because that's the same thing. Not yet. But it also affects our cast and special. All right, Lenny, let's have it out between us then. Let's go. Oh, speaking of Marvel, I know it's been a while since we talked about it, but I, uh, Becky and I watched uh, WandaVision recently, and uh, I would say I would say we liked it for the most part. Um, we we both weren't the biggest fans of the finale to it, though. Um, like I feel like it it was so creative at the beginning. And then it just kind of became like a Marvel movie, <laughs> which was a bummer. Like, I feel like there was maybe, there was maybe something else. They obviously there were, there's a million. There's always a million possibilities with any, any piece of of media. But like, we both were just kind of like, oh, well, this is what they're gonna do with it. That's that's fine. Like, there's a period of time where there's no real antagonist, right? Like, it's kind of. Loki is better. We should we'll check out we'll check out Loki too. We both were excited about Loki as well. Do they I I guess I would have assumed that I guess I don't know. I I I've always assumed that they're just like real people with like real costume stuff, but uh maybe not. That's what these shows are. Movies cut into episodes with some filler you sell to Disney. <laughs> I don't know, but the beginning of WandaVision is so strange and like it, it's so it's so strange and wonderful, you know, the way they start WandaVision. I don't want to give things away, but it's it's just it's so interesting, you know, it's it's like it's unlike what you normally see in uh, in these types of in these types of things, and so we both appreciated that. It didn't stay that way, but that's okay. Yeah, it, exactly. It was it was fresh. It was fresh and different. Oh gosh! Oh heavens! Oh goodness! Oh. These giant chariots are the worst. They're the worst. Okay. I like Chain Shot a lot. I like it a lot. I'll take that one. You lose the you lose the piercing, but I think you gain you gain a lot. Most ideas these days just recycled. Right. I mean yeah, it's you see you see occasional movies that are that feel unique and fresh. I'm trying to think what those movies that just kind of are exciting and or whatever because they're just they're different from anything you've ever seen. It's rare, you know, and it's it's hard to do, right? You think about like it's hard to make something. New, fresh, and exciting. That's that's the challenge. Stupid blue crystal. Cut it out. Let's go, Mistral Dash. Mistral Dash is fine. Uh, we have enough for a boon, I think. Knives Out? Yeah, Knives Out is fantastic. I like Knives Out, too. Should help keep me going. That one was so, like... Uh, breaking Wave? Yeah, Breaking Wave. It was. It, it felt... That one felt...
pretty pretty fresh. Pretty fresh and, and unique. It's you. I'm still learning all your tricks, short one. Well like I mean I'm not always the biggest fan of um like Christopher Nolan movies. I mean, I like him. I like, oh, wow, okay. I like him pretty well, but like, um, Inception was, was kind of a cool, strange movie that I'd never seen anything like before. Um, and if you like Inception, you should totally watch Shutter Island because that one is, it's got a similar sort of feel to it. In some, not, not in, not in every way, but like in some ways. I mean, we're dashing in kind of erratic ways right now. <laughs> Bloons Tower Defense? Nice! Much lax. But those movies kind of felt fresh to me. Can we, can we get something... Rare Crop? How fun would Rare Crop be? We could upgrade our attack. Would you upgrade our attack for us, please? What do we need? How far away are we from getting the legendary? Okay, killing freeze would give us the legendary. Boy, it's, it's an epic rare crop. You gotta take the epic rare crop when you see it. We got the attack. Booyah! I, basically, I like movies where things are not as they seem. Like, Knives Out was kind of like that. Where you don't really know exactly what's going on. The, the, the movie doesn't, like, spoon-feed you the story in a real direct way. It's kind of like... It's kind of a mystery. And so maybe I just like mysteries? But, like, yeah, sci-fi sci -fi mysteries. Oh, another great one was The Arrival. The Arrival is so good, man. I love The Arrival. Anyone see The Arrival? Good good old sci-fi. <laughs> the Prestige? I like The Prestige. Prestige was strange. In a, in a good way, though. I don't always like movies that just have like a, a gotcha moment at the end or whatever. Like I watched one, I'm trying to remember, The Game. Did anyone watch The Game with uh, Michael Douglas? I did not like that one. That one just felt like I'd been lied to. <laughs> you know, like there's a fine line between like having a story that's like interesting and then just feeling like, oh, like... Yeah, not. I guess maybe. I hope. Hopefully, that isn't. People don't consider that too much of a spoiler. I. I won't say any more about it. Just. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way they did it. <laughs> the Batman vs. Wolverine movie, right? Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, pressure points. We'll go. Go with the pressure points. Captain Phillips? I haven't seen Captain Phillips. I've not seen that one. It looks it looks crazy. Like it that movie looks super, super stressful. Like like if any of you guys seen Is it Argo? Is it Argo? The movie the movie where they're in uh it's the um embassy people trying to trying to get out of uh Man, I'm. <laughs> it's been a while since I saw it, so I don't remember all the details. But that that movie, Captain Phillips was better than Argo. I I the reason why I put those two names together were just like really really stressful, really stressful like oh like hard to watch types of movies. That one was like stressful and like I actually I have family members who were in a similar situation where like they were stuck in they were stuck in a country. They were actually stuck in Mali like during um, right when Mali was uh, 
there's basically a, a revolution going on or like a, an uprising and they were they were nervous that they might get stuck in Mali with their with their kids and that was scary for them so those that movie was hard hard to watch but a lot of fun fun very good I didn't mean to I don't mean I don't mean fun I mean interesting watch decoherence low budget movie about the occurrence of quantum decoherence did once didn't didn't really get into it though um I've not I've not seen that uh I I'm gonna I might even just roll here well, I'll just take breaking wave I guess I also really liked um like speaking of like weird movies upstream upstream color was an interesting one To battle. I don't know. I feel like I could do some stuff against your might. This fight is is somewhat uh, extra challenging with the bow, I would say. At least an attack-based build. Because it's really hard to hit the chariot without being directly behind it or in front of it. Like, you can't... You can't stand in the middle very easily and, and take out the chariot. Oh, nice. How come they were in Mali? Um, they were teachers at an international school in Mali. And uh, yeah, kind of a kind of a stressful thing. So like he he loves he loves movies, but he said like and he likes all types of movies, but he said that one was really hard for him to watch because of the just their their experience that, that they had being feeling nervous that they might be trapped in a in a country so that's you know i mean that's that's the sign of an affecting movie that was that was the thing that that got me the most like or another movie that felt like that was um munich oh munich felt very uncomfortable hard to watch if you ever saw Munich. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, on that note. I'm kind of digging on what's going on here with our cast, to be to be honest with, with you guys. Our cast is doing some pretty awesome stuff. Did you know that you shouldn't was list as an educational aid in Germany? Interesting. I did not know that. And that's kind of interesting. Like a like a history or or like what do you what type of educational aid? I remember Munich because I worked at Blockbuster when it came out on DVD and it was on the trailer reel for months. <laughs> didn't, I didn't watch it in school either. Let's go Razor Shoals, I guess. I don't know. Cheers, mate. Yeah, let's get that cast. Get that cast leveled up. Hmm. Yeah, I, I hadn't heard that, I guess. Carpels, are you are you from Germany? Do you have first hand knowledge of the <laughs> of that? I've still never seen Schindler's List. It's one of those that's like 
I know I probably should see it, and I... It's not that I don't want to see it. Well, I don't want to see it. It's like, you know, it's it's just a difficult... It's a difficult thing to watch, and I've watched a lot of movies about... Wait, did I already get the... Did I already get it? I did, didn't I? Yeah, thank you. I, that's what I wondered, Carpels. Um... I'm sure it is. Well, it is here too, Carpels. Like, World War II is is. Uh, well, as you can, imagine, I mean, Americans are really obsessed with Americans. <laughs> so, our we we teach a lot of history, and it's a lot of American history. And um, nice night, no. You watched it in school, yeah. I mean, a lot of a lot of classrooms here in the states watch Schindler's List. Hey, Nova, how's it going? Oh, totally, yeah. I think, I mean, I think those types of movies are great, are great teaching tools for, you know, lots of those, lots of those uh, situations. You know, I think a lot of people are kind of like, they look back on the Holocaust and they're, it's, it's become one of those things that's like, man, we'd better be really careful that this never happens again, right? Like, Something like this should never happen ever, ever again. Like, we shouldn't be in the dark about this type of stuff happening. But we are. I mean, I know that there's stuff like that happening in other places, and uh, we're just not, we're just not as, you know, aware of it because, well, for whatever reason, often because the people involved are not, you know, Caucasian looking. You know, I don't want to don't want to get too to whatever you want to say, but that that really is like a reason why things don't get covered in the in the news <laughs> or in history, for that matter. Is they're just not they're not uh, ethnocentric enough. <laughs> Whereas World War Two is like great because it's. I'm, I'll stop. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm talking about, so let's let's just move on. China, Rohingya, Rwanda, you mean? Or <laughs> ooh, eleven something. That was a nice little. Uh, a nice little crit we had there. Do ya? Do ya now? Father. Oh, father, my father. <laughs> Did I say that? Did I say World War II is like great? Did I really? I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to think back. What, what would have been the context for me to say that? Because <laughs> I'm. I don't. I wouldn't just say that out of the blue, or would I? Or would I say that out of the blue? Oh, I. Okay. Great. Great for like. Like, a narrative. A narrative that we can all like. I don't know. It, it gray was the wrong word. <laughs> it's one of those flashpoint moments in history where, in modern history anyway, where we can all be like, okay, this is something that you know we need to be very careful about, right? All right, things are going pretty. Oh 
Oh, come on! I wasn't... I was not close. That's where auto-aim can kind of mess you up a little bit. Uh-oh. Why? Oh gosh. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No, we was one hit away. You were him. I, oh man, that was painfully close. I had one more, I had one more arrow. Like that's all I needed. And I was like, I had wound it up and I think I had released it, but his spear got to me before my arrow got to him. Oh man, it hurts. It hurts so much. <sighs> well, friends, it's noon. It's noon o'clock. Persephone, Persephone is tired. Persephone is quite tired, but oh, so relaxed. It's it's time. It's time. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let me get my thing. Persephone being being the cutest. Oh, there's so much of them. 